Reuse and repurposing is of course the preference over recreation, whatever the subject. It saves time and effort. In CAD, this usually translates to importing data and working with the whole model. However, synchronous technology in Solid Edge also allows you to reuse individual design details. In this example, we're going to create a custom fuel adapter, starting with a basic body, and then simply reuse design details from other Solid Edge projects to complete. First, so that we know where our output ports are going to go, we'll quickly create a few holes. And notice how quick we can space these, no separate dimensioning tool required. Now for the barbs, and this is where we can save lots of time and effort. I know that we've created geometry like this before on another project, this blue component, so why not reuse this detail rather than waste time modelling from scratch? We simply select the detail we wish to use, the well-known Windows fan select saves a lot of time here. Oh, and notice that we're moving what we call the steering wheel to a specific position. This is our main control for synchronous technology, and here it'll help us locate the detail in our new part. Then simply click copy or use the Windows Control C shortcut. Back in our custom fuel adapter, we just paste it in, again using the Windows shortcut Control V if you like, and you can see our steering wheel is just where we left it, so placement becomes the simple task of snapping into place. And if you think you'll be using this detail again in the future, you can just store it away in the library. All you have to do is open your library pane and paste it into here instead. To reuse it, just drag and drop. The steering wheel can also be used to enter precise offset values. Here we'll offset it exactly 15mm and then snap the barb into place. Additionally, by holding down the control key while we drag the steering wheel, we can copy this barb to the other location required. Again, notice the familiar use of Windows shortcuts. Holding control in Windows does the same thing, copies. Quick and easy. Now that we have the barbs in the correct location, we need to figure out how we're going to attach the geometry to the part. Luckily there's no need to worry about such things as boolean operations, a solid edge will take care of this. Watch as it automatically extends to connect to the solid geometry. But what happens if we realise after pasting these barbs that we want to move them, perhaps to help hose clearance? No problem, we can use the steering wheel at any point in time to make required mods. Let's quickly add an angled offset here to the top and bottom connectors. Now that we have the output side of this fuel adapter finished, let's take a look at the fuel flow sensor side. Again, we have the basic geometry here, however rather than modelling the internal sensor housing detail, let's also reuse this 3D detail from another project. The housing detail is already in our library, so all we need to do is drag and drop like before, and again use the steering wheel for placement, this time ensuring central alignment. Notice that when reusing 3D detail, not only can features add geometry to parts, but they can also remove geometry at the same time. Furthermore, Solid Edge will also bring through design intelligence. For example, here the holes aren't just cylindrical pieces of geometry, they're real holes, so we can accurately modify them to suit. And as for this cutout, a key dimension has come through so we know to tweak for our requirements. Now that our custom fuel adapter is finished, let's complete the assembled unit by adding the sensor. Of course, here we're reusing a whole model rather than specific 3D detail, but still Solid Edge helps us out by reusing the assembling detail, its positioning references, to accelerate placement. In summary, we were able to precisely create our new component in just a couple of minutes, all thanks to synchronous technology in Solid Edge. It allowed us to easily reuse 3D detail from other models with just a simple copy and paste. And remember, this 3D design detail can be reused from not just Solid Edge files like we had here, but from non-Solid Edge CAD data too. Solid Edge, design better.